Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to just talk a little bit about our one year at home. Um, March 11th, 2020 was when our state uh, started closing things down and when our schools announced don't send the kids back after spring break. So we have been at home for a little over a year now. Um, homeschool started with uh, in the spring, just trying to figure out how to keep the kid busy and make sure that they were still learning. Um, I think that we didn't quite uh, get as much information from the school district as I would have liked, but we had things that we could do and could supplement and we got to really just follow, you know, the kids' interests. We did a lot of stuff on space and dinosaurs and um, got to do some fun stuff that way, lots of hands-on things. So then when summer came, we, my work had already said, okay, we're gonna be working from home for a while. And so at that point we were able to say, all right, well then we're gonna plan on homeschooling next year because who knows how it's gonna go and the plan from the school district seemed very complicated at the time and wasn't going to work well for our learner and the online option wasn't going to be a really good fit either. So we opted to homeschool. So we started, we didn't officially start homeschooling until August, but we enrolled in June. So we had, we could start gathering materials. Um, my work has been primarily online distance using Zoom anyway, pre-pandemic. So the change was just trying to find a good workspace at home. Um, so we did that and uh, everything else for work was able to continue along pretty smoothly for me and my project. Um, there were other people that I interact with that were having a lot more challenges adjusting their programs to the new environment, but ultimately worked through those kinks and, um, you know, it found out that uh, a lot of things that they didn't think could be done from a distance from home can. Uh, so homeschool has gone pretty well. Um, I think my child has learned a lot. I know that I have enjoyed teaching my child. I think had I not already had like a, a career going, I may have opted to homeschool earlier, uh, but that wasn't really a, a good choice for our family at the time. Um, however, things over the last year, I think have, you know, there've been ups and downs, obviously. I am an introvert, so I have um, been okay. <laughs> at home, um, with the exception of the fact that I live with extroverts who, you know, have had a bit more of an adjustment to uh, wanting to be out and see friends and things like that. But again, we found ways to do that safely, um, to capitalize on, you know, online options and phone calls and writing letters and things like that. Um, I think overall this year, our family has actually gotten closer, um, not just because we've all had to be in the house together for <laughs> the time, but I think, you know, we have um, gotten to know each other a little bit better. I know that through homeschool, we have gotten to know our kid better and their interests and that has been really nice. I think that that'll be something that sticks with us for a while. You know, I mean, kids change and grow up and interests change, but I think having this time at home will be something that um, is beneficial in the long run. Um, I think that we've sort of shifted some of our priorities around. I know personally, I have spent more time focusing on health and eating better and exercising. Um, and my husband has too. And so I think that that is good. That's a, a shift in priorities that, you know, before we just, we didn't have the time or we were stressed after doing all these other things. Um, and this year has, you know, definitely 
reminded us that health is precious and that, you know, we want to uh, take advantage of our health and maintain our health um, and teach those lessons to our kid too, so that they can also have a healthy lifestyle as they grow up. Um, we are all ready for things to start opening up more and to have more options and feel um, comfortable and safe in more spaces. Um, certainly members of my family more so than me, but I would like to be able to go places and do things just without a lot of people there <laughs> would be great. Um, but I think that that's something that we're all going to have to kind of ease back into. Um, I know for one thing, um, just the getting up and getting started at a particular time for school and doing all the hygiene and getting out the door and all of that will be an adjustment for the kid as things start to transition back. Um, but as a family, we're actually looking at um, probably doing another year of homeschool. The kid has requested to continue to homeschool and and my job has actually said that they do not plan on bringing everybody back into the office, that they do want some people to be able to work from home. So I have expressed my desire to continue to work from home. And so that's kind of what we're looking into. We want to make sure that everything's a, a guarantee on that front first. But right now, that's what we're looking at. Um, and then, you know, feeling comfortable around people again will be uh, something that I think takes a little bit of time. Um, my husband and I will both have our first shots by the end of March, so we'll both be fully vaccinated um, probably about midway through April. And so that's good, but, you know, they don't have kid vaccines yet, so there will still be some things that we take into consideration to make sure that our family stays healthy. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about how the year has been, that there's good things that have come out of this year. And I think for our family, we've, we've grown closer and we've been able to shift our priorities to things that really matter for us. And that I think has been very helpful. And I've certainly really enjoyed being able to spend this much time with my kid when they're still little because you know they won't be little forever so how are you guys doing um any lessons from the past year or any insights let me know and thanks for watching bye